Welcome, I'm so glad you could join me today. When I was a young child, I lived in the Fergana Valley, one of the most fertile and beautiful parts of Central Asia. However, following political unrest in the region, my family was forced to move and we ended up resettling in a large city in the west of Scotland, where we were originally from. Truth be told, I really struggled with the change. Though Western city life is often idealised, my initial experience of this was a very unhappy one. I was used to picking grapes fresh off the garden vine, running free in the neighbourhood and feeling at one with my community. To go from these simple yet beautiful surroundings to concrete streets and Western mindsets was a big shock to the system. It felt strange to live in a place where every man fended for himself and a person's worth was based on what they accomplished and achieved, rather than who they were as a person. My name is Kat, I am a Scotland based adult third culture kid and I make videos about slow living, mental health and the art of homemaking. Now there are many beautiful videos out there all about folks who decide to move to the countryside and pursue a slower way of life. And while I would love to do that someday myself, I'm aware that that is simply not the reality for many of us. Perhaps you need to live in the city because of a relationship, a job, or simply because you really like it, but you would still like to find some ways to slow down. I still live in a city myself, and though I didn't love it to begin with, it has definitely grown on me, and I've learned that the homey and slow life that I crave is based more on creating an internal sense of home than it is on where I lay my head at night. So, in honour of this, we will be chatting a bit about slow living in the city, based around the acronym SLOW. The first element of soul living is sustainability, which I think there are two main sides to. The first thing, and probably what popped into your mind, is living in a way that is environmentally friendly and sustainable for the planet. In the city, it can be so easy to get sucked into a fast-paced mindset that values convenience in our own lives over compassion for the world around us. Now, I don't think there's anything wrong with picking up a sandwich to go when you're having a stressful day. And I know that due to the pandemic, it is harder to go reusable with everything due to the higher hygiene standards. However, even by choosing a handful of more sustainable options, such as making a sandwich at home and carrying it in a reusable wrap, we can make a difference that will benefit both the planet and our own mental health. This links to the other side of sustainable living, which is to live in a way that is sustainable for us on a more personal level. For example, when I started this channel, I focused on a more intricate videography style with a voiceover. While I love to do this and will continue to make this style of video when I have the time, I realised after a while that these weren't sustainable in the long term. They take a long time to plan, film and edit and though I love to make them, it just isn't sustainable for me with the time and energy that I currently have available. So I found that this more chill vlog style is much more sustainable for me and is a better way for me to continue making videos in the future. City life can get busy, so finding more sustainable ways to do things can really help to give space to slow down and smell the roses. 
The second thing that has helped me to cultivate slow living in the city is to shop locally when I can. There is something so calming and wholesome about walking along to the local greengrocers to pick up what I need for dinner in the evening. Between the bright lights and the neon signs demanding me to buy one and get one half price, I've found that supermarkets have been very overwhelming for me recently, especially when I'm having a tired and anxious day. This has undoubtedly been a lot worse since the pandemic, uh, so local shops have been a real safe haven for me recently. I love that I can go along to Fresh and Fruity knowing that there won't be any more than a couple of other people in the shop, browse through local produce and have a nice chat while I'm there. Given how important it is to support our local businesses, especially during the pandemic, this is yet another way in which slowing down in our own lives can have a positive, compassionate impact on those around us. O is for organic. This goes really well with my previous point about shopping locally as some of the best seasonal and organic produce can be found in local shops such as Fresh and Fruity. I believe that organic living goes beyond just food though. I think it encompasses all aspects of nature. In a land of high-rise flats and tarmac roads, I think it's so important for us to try and find green space to spend our time in when we can. I'm very fortunate that I live in a city that has a lot of parks and nature spots that are close by and easy to access. Spending time enjoying these beauty spots always helps me to slow down and get a fresh perspective on life. So I take the opportunity to walk or run in these areas whenever I can. If it's proving difficult to find green spaces in your own city, it may be an idea to even consider making your own home a green space. I think there is something so beautiful in cultivating a garden where you eat vegetables that you've grown yourself and you enjoy flowers that you've planted the seeds for. However, if like me, you are not much of a gardener, there are other options for doing this. I have been an enthusiastic cacti owner for many years now and I love how easy they are to care for. I water them once in a while and repot them whenever they're outgrowing their old homes, but besides that, I found that they are very self-sufficient and continue to bring me a great deal of joy. Just recently, I woke in the morning to find my Christmas cacti coming into a gorgeous pink bloom, as if to welcome the cosy winter season. Finally, we come to the last letter in our slow living acronym, wholesome. Now, the countryside has many wholesome and beautiful things such as cottages and nature, but I think that the city has some wholesome delights of its own to offer. I love to visit coffee shops, go for walks to admire the architecture and stop to listen to buskers on the street. Above all though, my favourite wholesome city activity is visiting art galleries and museums. I find that these are such wonderful places to slow down and reflect on the beauty of humanity with all its creativity and history. As humans in the 21st century, we spend a lot of time dwelling on the ugly parts of humanity and I think sometimes forget that there is so much good to see as well, if only we slow down for long enough to appreciate it.
That is all for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and you got some inspiration and that it provided a little pocket of calm in your day. If so, I would really appreciate it if you gave the video a like and you are also more than welcome to subscribe for new content. I would love to know in the comments what you do to slow down in the city. But until next time, it was lovely to have you here.